U.S. Physics Olympiad, year 2022, USA PHO. Final round. Problem B2. Broken vase. A uniformly charged ring of radius D has total charge Q and uh, is fixed in place. A point uh, charge negative Q of mass M is uh, placed at its center. Both big Q and the small Q are positive. As a result, if the point chart is given a small velocity along the ring's axis of symmetry, it will oscillate about the ring's center. Question A. Find the period T of the oscillations. For the rest of the problem, we will consider this situation in a reference frame where the ring is moving along its axis of symmetry with a constant speed V which may be comparable to the speed of light C. In this frame the ring and the point charge have a charge big Q prime and the small Q prime and the point charge still oscillates about the ring's center. Question B. What is the period T prime of oscillation of the point charge in this frame? Question C. When the charge is a small distance dx from the center of the ring, find the restoring force in terms of small q prime, big q prime, v, d, and dx, and the fundamental constants. Question D. Suppose the restoring force has the form f equal negative k dx. Find the period of the resulting oscillations in terms of k, m, v, and the fundamental constants. Question E. Suppose the electric charge transforms between reference frames as, a, as a q prime equal gamma power n q and the small q prime equal gamma power n small q. By combining your answers to parts c and d, and uh, comparing to part B, find the value of N. To solve this uh, problem, you will need the following results from relativity. The Lorentz factor is uh, defined as gamma equal 1 over square root from 1 minus V square over C square. The momentum of a particle is P equal gamma MV and M is the same in all frames. The electromagnetic force on the charge Q is F equal dP over dT equal Q multiplied by E plus a cross product V and B. The electric field of a charge Q at the origin with a constant velocity V is radial with a magnitude E equal this expression where theta is the angle of R to V. Solution for question A. Find the period T of the oscillations. Solution. Suppose the charge is displaced by a small distance delta x in a horizontal direction. Electric field from total charge Q on distance D multiplied by sine small angle theta, which is approximately delta X over D. That will be this expression proportional to DX. In that case, restoring force will be this one. And direction is opposite to displacement because the charge is uh, negative. And now we can rewrite it in form of acceleration uh, proportional to displacement and the opposite direction. This is a completely formula for harmonic oscillation, where omega square equal this uh, coefficient, where omega is angular frequency. So from here we can find what is the period. Period will be 2 pi over omega or 
this is square root. That was solution for question A. Solution for question B. What is the period T prime of uh, oscillation of the point charge in this frame? Solution. By directly applying time dilation to the answer of part A, we have T prime equal gamma T or 1 over square root from 1 minus V square over C square multiplied by answer in the previous question. That was solution for question B. Solution for question C. When the charge is a small distance delta x from the center of the ring, find the restoring force in terms of small q prime, big q prime, v, d, delta x and the fundamental constants. Solution. The position of the charge relative to each charge in the ring is uh, almost 90 degrees. Thus, uh, using the provided information, we have electric field from the ring in x direction equal this expression, where uh, pi over 2 minus theta is uh, very close to 90 degrees. So we can neglect this one and equalize sine to 1. In that case, uh, we have uh, this expression, which can be simplified to this one. Thus, the restoring force is this one. So that was a solution for question C. Solution for question D. Suppose the restoring force has the form F equal negative K delta X. Find the period of the resulting oscillations in terms of K, M, V and fundamental constants. Solution. By the definition of force given in the information below, we have force equal delta P over delta T or M multiplied by derivative from V over square root from 1 minus V square over C square. Carrying out the derivative and the simplifying give us F equal this expression. For small oscillations, the velocity is always approximately equal to the original velocity V. Thus, the motion is still simple harmonic, because acceleration is still almost proportional to displacement with the coefficient equal omega square. It means the period equal this expression. So, that was a solution for question D. Solution for question E. Suppose the electric charge transforms between reference frames as a Q big prime equal gamma power N Q big and a Q small prime equal gamma power N Q small. By combining your answers to part C and D and comparing to part B, find the value of N. Solution. From final result part C, we have restoring force proportional to displacement. It means that coefficient of proportionality equal this expression. From part D, we found that uh, if we know what is coefficient of proportionality, we have period equal this expression. Now, plugging this uh, K to our last formula, we have period equal this expression. But this is the same result as in part B. This one. If we have that Q big prime multiplied by Q small prime equal Q big multiplied by Q small. And this is true when power N equal zero. So it means that Electric charge is a Lorentz invariant. That was solution for question E. And here we finished discussion for problem B2.